Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are starting a brand new let's play this time around We are gonna be playing a game called firewatch. I don't know much about it I've seen it being discussed on the Xbox game pass subreddits as a must play if you have game pass Apparently, it's really good. I, I saw the trailer and it definitely caught my attention there were some spooky parts in the trailer that i'm not looking forward to when we play the game but it, it looks like a fun game apparently it's not that long to beat and it has really good gameplay from what i've seen so uh really looking forward to playing this one and sharing it with the channel hopefully you all enjoy it too so without further ado let's jump on into firewatch New game, baby. Let's go. Fresh clip. Fresh file. Fresh file. That's what I was trying to say. You see Julia. Do I need a look? She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Oh, we have dialogue options. So, uh, what's your, you know, major? You're pretty. Let's be forward and say you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Hey, nice. We got a girlfriend just like that. It's that easy. <laughs> oh man, let's let's pick up our backpack. Let's see what's in here. Just an elevator in a parking garage. I hope that's our truck cuz that looks like a fun truck to drive, is it? Oh yeah, it is our truck. Hell yeah. I really, in real life, would love to own a small truck like this. I don't want one of those big monster trucks or, you know, even like a giant Ford, but a small truck like this would be really nice to have to like grab groceries or occasionally like if I want to get some wood or other material from Home Depot, it'd be nice to like, you know, put, just throw it in the back. Or I mean, even when I go to Costco, dude, it'd be sick to like load up the back of the truck and not have to rent uh, like a U-Haul when I'm buying a couch. Okay, done with the rant. You date. For over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with the view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Ooh, let's see, do we pick the Beagle or the Shepherd? <laughs> Mayhem? Dude, that is such a badass name. I love, I love Beagles, dude. Like, I thought that uh it's it's I, I think beagles look like really fun dogs but they are such high energy uh, and well i mean i guess german shepherds are too right I, i'm not a dog person i don't know dogs and how energy and maintaining them but you know what i like mayhem we're going with the we're going with the shepherd just because his name is mayhem mayhem sounds like a more badass name than bucket so we're choosing the shepherd Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring you to school, 
Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? Uh, they're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Ooh. Alright, so we've been dating for a while, so I wonder what the right response would be. I'm gonna say they would be pretty good. Let's see what she says. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Oh man, life does seem good here for our main character, Henry. And we're at a trailhead. Are we gonna go hiking? I'm all for a good hike. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks, and we're in bear country. Uh, not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Ooh, a backcountry trail. I've never actually done a, a backcountry trail. All the trails I've done have been like pretty nicely maintained, but one day I'd love to do some backcountry hiking, but I need to get my uh, hiking experience level up because I'm still, I think, I, I feel like I'm still a noob, noob hiker. I'm barely dipping my toes in like harder trails and I have I've yet to tackle like really challenging trails. I stick to like moderate trails on all trails the app, but one day I'm gonna do like hard trails. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry. Why would you get angry, dude? I'd be fucking worried if my wife wasn't calling me or picking me up and she's like four hours late like anger would be the last thing on my mind i would be super concerned i would be calling everybody that i know to try to find her dude like i feel like anger is the last thing i would think of i mean i mean oh wait is that a sign that maybe our relationship with julia isn't good because maybe you get angry because it's like a it's like a repeated behavior that you don't like you know, like it's happened multiple times and you've told her like, hey, you know, don't be late. You know, you're just making me this or I don't know what, you know, I'm reading too much into it. I'm reading too much into it. Let's, let's keep going. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, I feel like that's a conversation for the morning. I'm going to get mad, but I'm going to ignore her and go to sleep. And in the morning, we'll hash it out. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like... <laughs> oh man, let's go with we frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> and walk, and strut, and strut, and pose, and spin. Julia was right, you are very pretty. Yes, yes, I tried to be for my Julia. Oh my god. Oh, this is really spooky. Is there like a fire or something? Oh, it's just sunset. Ooh, but it's so it's so scary to be out when the sun's going down. I've never done a night night hike. I know that they can be fun, but I'm just so scared of hiking at night and not being able to see what's around me. You know, it's scary enough to do a hike and, you know, not really know what's around you eight more miles still to get to the lookout tower you know like oh climb over okay yeah like when you're on a trail sometimes it can be a little scary to not know what's around you you know i i actually get a little bit concerned that there's like a mountain lion or something hanging out somewhere just out of my view ready to pounce on me 
during the summers you and Julie enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife? What the fuck? Okay. Mayhem runs away. <laughs> Dude, Mayhem, you had one job. Protect us. And you failed. May me move fucking dog and julia yells she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed you confront the attacker <laughs> oh my god two options you scare him away or you beat him and you beat his goddamn face in uh I, I don't know i feel like if someone's mugging us with a knife you, you i don't really know how you'd scare him away unless you got a gun so i'm gonna say you beat his face in your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. I mean, I wish there was a uh, option to run. You know, if you're getting mugged with a knife, you know, you should ideally try to run away if you can or give them what they want no point trying to uh start a fight with someone who has a knife because yeah you're you're bound to get cut plans to have kids get waylaid by work julia gets offered a job at yale yale is in connecticut 2,000 miles away it's a great job associate department chair she wants to move you absolutely do not oh boy convince her no we're not going to convince her not to take the job it's a great job she wants it i think she should take it you ask her if she'll commute back and forth you don't want to move to connecticut she says that'll be hard but she'll do it if you don't want if you won't move you tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants she flies to boulder three times a semester Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She'd lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in a stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it? You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No, we need to address this. We need to talk to someone and get some help. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suff- What the f- This is getting so dark, dude! What the fuck? You both decide to keep it a secret for now? She's only 41. Oh, that's terrible, dude. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> gonna gonna have to gonna have to blur that out. I don't want I don't want this to get age restricted. <laughs> I was not expecting to see that. <laughs> oh my god, she drew me like one of one of the French girls. This game is insane. What the hell, dude? Oh man, <laughs> that's crazy. I wasn't expecting to see a dick. Okay. Uh, Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. It has to be brought home by police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 
You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care at home. It sits with you for a couple months. I don't know. I don't... No, I... I, I couldn't do that. At least with my current mindset and experiences, I wouldn't move her into a home if you take care of her by yourself. I mean, you can have help, of course, but I would... No, don't, don't put them in a home. You know, at least for me, for me, like I know for some people it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's a must to put someone you can't care for in a home, but I would ideally never want to do that for my wife. Damn, dude, this game is fucking dark. What the hell, dude? I was expecting, you know, hiking and solving some puzzles, not dealing with, you know, these really dark scenarios, dude, that are, you know, there's not really a good answer for them, you know? It's just like shitty life situations keep getting piled on and on for our character and their family, like... It's, this is really putting me in a bad mood, actually. It's making me a little sad. And I feel like it's just getting worse, and we haven't even started the gameplay. This is just the intro. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck. Watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You, well, yeah, dude, you should because that's a very real possibility, dude. If, like, she isn't aware of, like, her... Like, if she's not in the right state of mind to be left alone, you shouldn't leave her alone because if she wanders out, like, she may, you know, never come back. You know, either because she becomes permanently lost and, you know, ends up on the streets or, you know, absolute worst case, she dies. Like, you know, you, you should, no, dude, you should not leave her alone. <laughs> These are both bad options, but I, I, I'm going to put a chair. I don't, I wouldn't, I'm not going to click that I trust her. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow up point one zero and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Let's go on up to the tower. Oh, dude, it's... I'm getting so spooked out just being out in the uh, forest at night. It, oh, it's like, a, I, I don't know. I I don't know if I could do it. Like, I get, I would, I would not like the feeling of being alone with nothing around you. Well, at least nothing that you're aware of. There's always stuff around you, but just... I don't know, I would feel so unsafe. Whoa, it's, it's 
a really good view though. Okay. Got a radio there. Oh, a little kitchenette. Got a nice twin size bunk bed right there. Flip on the power. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Whoa, kind of spooked me. Okay, so oh, we can select dialogue here too. This is gonna be an interesting game. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling, nobody at home can stand you. Uh, let's go with... You've killed three ex-husbands. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh boy, and that is the introduction to Firewatch. Next video, we'll do day one. I guess I'll let this play out, morning, but then we're going to end the video. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. It's nice that we still have our wedding ring on. Okay, but yeah, this is actually where we'll, we will end the video. This is shaping up to be a really interesting game you know the intro was very very emotional very very dark a lot of shitty situations and a lot of like not so great choices but you know it, it is it's a very it's a, it it started off really strong and i i i like that so i'm i'm really looking forward to seeing what else this game has in store for us so i'm gonna end things here and I will catch you in the next one.